Hi everyone and welcome. This is Simon from NTWeekly.com. In this video I will show you how to export Azure Active Directory users with PowerShell to a CSV file. Now the first thing that um, you're probably asking yourself, uh, what is the use case here? Why do I need to export my users to a CSV file? And why do I need to use PowerShell? So I guess the first use case is that you might, um, you might have a process or an automated process where um, you, know, you, you need to export all your users, save them into a CSV file, uh, maybe you need to um, manipulate uh, the data. So there, there could be a few cases where you're going to find yourself in a situation that you need to export your users. Now, um, uh, Microsoft Azure PowerShell gives us this option to, um, to export VUR users, um, you know, extract uh, some of the data that belongs to our users. And in this video, we're just going to focus on how we can export the, you know, the details of our users to a CSV file. And at the end, I will show you uh, an extra two commandlets where you can actually export some of the users. So I guess um, the, the first step uh, to work with uh, Microsoft Azure Active Directory is to install the new Microsoft Azure PowerShell module. Uh, the module is, uh, is cross-platform, which means that you can install it on macOS, uh, Linux, uh, Windows. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, in the past, uh, to manage Azure Active Directory, you had to have a Windows machine. And the reason uh, for that was uh, because the, the module was based on PowerShell uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which only worked on Windows. But with PowerShell 7, we, 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 we no longer um, attach to, to Windows anymore. Uh, it's cross-platform, so we can install it um, everywhere. Now, in my case, I do have uh, PowerShell 7 installed. And uh, because I'm using uh, VS Code, you can see that I'm using PowerShell 7. Now, um, so I guess uh, if you don't have PowerShell 7 installed, go ahead and install it. Uh, just, just Google search it. Uh, install the PowerShell 7 and um, open the console, the PowerShell 7 console, and uh, install the Microsoft Azure PowerShell module. The module comes with um, with with a lot of um, you know uh, packages or or mini modules for uh, to manage um, Azure as a whole, uh, which means you can manage users, um, uh, virtual machines, containers, web apps, um, everything Azure. So go ahead and start uh, to install uh, the module. Um, or install it using install-module az. Uh, once, once, um, once you install the module, um, the, the next thing that you need to do is you need to connect to Microsoft Azure. Now, uh, in this case, I'm assuming that you are a global admin or you have some RBAC role that supports um, you know, the, the export operation. Uh, so that's my assumption here. So to connect, uh, just type uh, connect-az account. Um, uh, you, you, you're going to have to uh, follow the prompt. Uh, the, the, um, you're going to see uh, once you do it, or I might going to do it on my machine here. Um, so once you do this, um, you see you're going to have to click on the link and um, type the authentication code in order to connect to Microsoft Azure. Uh, if, you, um, if you have um, MFA, you, you, you're going to be asked to provide um, MFA details. Now, um, the next thing, now once you're connected, um, you know, uh, once you're connected to, connected to Microsoft Azure, 
from there, uh, the job is fairly simple. All you need to do is use the get dash az ad user pipe export dash csv and just uh, just name the csv file and that's it. All the users will be exported to the csv file. Um, after that, uh, I mean that's up to you. If you don't want to, yeah, I mean if you only if you only want to um, export, let's say the first 50 users. Uh, in your tenant, you can use the uh, dash first um, uh, switch with the number of users that you would like to export. Uh, in my case, I'm doing a format table, but obviously you can change it with export dash CSV. Uh, if you only want to export, um, you know, um, the number of users after uh, you know, after 10, 20, 10, you do the dash skip switch and the number of users um, after the first users that you want to export. Um, and that's it. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm adding a link to the blog post where you can actually copy, but copy the commands and, uh, and run them. Thank you for watching and have a great day.